How do? Long time no see. Been a while. Longer than I intended, to be honest, but... One of those things. Life gets in my way. Housekeeping. It's a Rattray's Sir William. See Prince shape. And what am I smoking? Well, in case the title of the video didn't give it away, I'm smoking. Holgerdansk Royal Navy Flake, which is this month's blend club. And uh, it's a blend I've smoked quite a few times before. Um, which uh, I just never got around to reviewing really, strangely, I don't know why, because I've had quite a few tins of this before, but now unfortunately it's in these daft pouches in the UK, and only sold in 40 gram increments, which is strange, but, God, cut buzz costs where you can, aren't you, eh? Now before, it never came in the larger tins, it never came in like these. It always used to come in uh, smaller ones, probably about the size of my match case. And uh, the flakes were really small as well, which you know, would have to be. But they were very, very small and very, very uniform. Now, they're absolutely massive, but still very uniform. So straight away from the pouch, you can tell that uh, it's Virginia, obviously. Um, but you can also tell that it's got some kind of topping to it. Um, it smells quite fruity in the pouch. But in the bowl, it's actually quite subtle um, and unlike a lot of navy flakes it doesn't have an alcohol topping there's no rum or anything like that um, no molasses either it is a fruity topping it's the best way I can describe it some kind of citrus And I thought for the ambience, sea shanties. Why not? Eh? So yeah, it's very very subtle. Is the topping on this? I say fruity, but I would say more towards citrus. It's got a almost lemony taste to it, and it's a bit of a one-off. This blending. A lot of ways because it's the only navy flake um well it's not the only navy, it's one of the only navy flakes i've had where it has more of a fruity topping in fact it probably is the only one that i've had that's got a fruity topping because capstan doesn't have a topping yeah so it's the only one i can think of that has a fruit topping also it's the only blend by hogger dance that i can actually smoke the rest of them are uh, standard aromatics that um, just destroy my mouth so I stay away from those but it's um, it's a very pleasant smoke it's also very mild I would say in a similar league to uh, Olic Golden Slice, similar to that in terms of uh, nicotine, general body. But you get absolutely no bite from this. 
It's just a very pleasant, mildly aromatic smoke, which uh, burns very, very well. Goes down to a white ash. And uh, it uh, makes quite as easy any time of the day smoke for me, does this. It's particularly better in the warmer months, um, for me anyway, just because I, as I've said many times, I prefer my blends to have a bit more clout when the weather's colder. But um, this time of year, getting into springtime, heading on towards summer, it's a very uh, pleasant and easy to smoke blend. So yeah, I like it. I mean, it's pretty good. It's um, it's a rather good substitute for Player's Navy, which may Player's Navy rest in peace. It's obviously not as strong. Um, it's a lot brighter Virginia's, no Burley. But um, yeah, it's still, still makes for a good summer Navy flick, I think. So I would give this blend, I would rate it, where would I rate it? I'd probably rate it a good 4 out of 5. Um, it's one that I'd buy again, many a time over. It's very easy to smoke, like I said. Um, and it's just a very uh, well-natured blend. Um... The only thing pulling it back a bit for me is that it is just a little bit on the mild side for me. If it had just a little bit more, just a little soupçon of strength to it, it would be more up my alley. But, hey, that's what Capstan's for. So, with that, I will leave this brief review here. But I will be back for more videos very, very soon. I know I've said that before, I know, I know. But I've got at least two more videos to do this weekend and I've got no work tomorrow. So I will um, be back very soon because I've got another blend to review and a giveaway to do. So yeah, I'll leave that there for now. And uh, yeah, be careful out there everyone. I'll see you on the next video. Take it easy. Cheers.